This is a video showing 20 mucinous cyst adenomas, all described using iota terminology. My name is Suzanne Johnson and I'm a gynaecologist from Southampton. If you're new to this, you might want to watch one of the previous YouTube videos on how to diagnose adnexal masses using iota terminology. You'll find this video in this same channel. There's also a video there about iota papers, which are very useful to read prior to working out how to describe adnexal masses. This was the original paper from 2000, which is essential reading. I will show you 20 mucinous cyst adenomas. They are common abnormality, and you'll see that all examples in the presentation are supported by histology. The typical appearance of a mucinous cyst adenoma is multilocular whether it's fewer than 10 locules or more than 10 locules, but occasionally these cysts are unilocular with a single locule. There's usually no solid material. The cyst contents are usually of low level echogenicity, but this can vary between the different locules, some being anechoic and others really quite dense echogenicity. The internal cyst wall is usually regular, vascularity usually minor with a score of two, they can be shadowing and they can be very large indeed. Sometimes you will see immediately what the cyst is as a simple descriptor. If the cyst is unilocular and anechoic with regular walls, that is then reflective of a simple cyst or cyst adenoma. Another simple descriptor is remaining unilocular cyst with regular walls. To remind you, these are the six simple descriptors, four benign and two malignant. And occasionally, the mucinous cyst adenomas fit one or either of those two benign descriptors. If it's not immediately obvious what it is, then you can often get it on simple rules. If the cyst is unilocular with no solid material, or smooth multilocular less than 10 centimetres, again with no solid material, and in the absence of any malignant features, then this cyst will be benign. To remind you of the simple rules, if one or more benign features is present in the absence of malignant features, the mass is classified as benign. So here are some examples. This cyst was very large, 169 millimetres. It was multilocular, fewer than 10 locules, with low level echogenicity, no solid material, minor vascularity with a score of 2, and no shadowing. This next example was 70 millimetres, and again was multilocular, with fewer than 10 locules, no solid material, low level echogenesis, minor vascularity, and no shadowing. This cyst was 67 millimetres, again multilocular, fewer than 10 locules, no solid material, low level echogenicity. You can see here that the echogenicity of the cyst contents has got all these little dots in it. Minor vascularity, just a little bit here at the edge, and no shadowing. This is a video of a 158 millimetre cyst. You can see that again it's multilocular, there are more than 10 locules, low level echogenicity cyst contents, no solid material and some shadowing. It can be very difficult to be sure in these cysts with a huge number of locules whether or not there is any solid material hiding in between the locules. It can be very difficult. This cyst was 92 millimetres and it's multilocular with fewer than 10 locules. I think in this view there's just one locule there and a large locule there. Obviously if you were doing the scan you'd have more than just a single image and you'd be able to decide more easily. Low level echogenicity and here there's a small amount of solid material with a little bit of vascularity uh, and some shadowing. Because this is multilocular and some solid material, it's now called multilocular solid. 
We know that this is a little bit of solid material because it is vascular. If there was no vascularity there, it would be harder to be certain that it's solid material, as sometimes you get some clumping of mucin at the edges. This cyst was 87 millimetres. It is multilocular with fewer than 10 locules, no solid material, low level echogenicity, no vascularity, giving a score of 1. 1 is no vascularity and no shadowing. This cyst was larger at 112 millimetres. It's multilocular with more than 10 locules, no solid material, low level echogenicity. As you can see, this varies between really low level and almost anechoic between the locules and no shadowing. For the shadowing, we always look behind the lesion to see if there's any acoustic shadows. This cyst was 88 millimetres. It's multilocular with fewer than 10 locules, no solid material, low level echogenicity, minor vascularity in the septum here and some minor vascularity here. Uh, and a little bit of shadowing. This cyst was a larger cyst at 166 millimetres. It's multilocular and in this single view it's too difficult to say if it's fewer or more than 10 locules you'd have to look at more than a single image. There's no solid material although as I said before that can be very difficult to know in an area like that whether there is solid material. You have to look very carefully and if in doubt say that there is solid material because obviously that will make it look different and less benign than if there is no solid material. Low level echogenicity again varying between the different locules. Some moderate vascularity giving a score of 3 and no shadowing in this view in this image. This cyst was 73 millimetres. It is multilocular with fewer than 10 locules, no solid material, low level echogenicity, minor vascularity, and no shadowing. A large cyst here, you can see here is just the top of the TV probe, 172 millimetres, multilocular, fewer than 10 locules in this view, no obvious solid material low level echogenicity, moderate vascularity and no shadowing. This cyst was 102 millimetres, multilocular, fewer than 10 locules, no solid material, low level echogenicity, minor vascularity and no shadowing. You have to be careful in a mass like this with your field of view. Always try to see beyond the cyst so that you can see the furthest extent of the lesion. And be careful in any cyst more than 10 centimetres. It's very difficult to know whether there is in fact a little bit of solid material at that furthest edge because it's beyond what the machine can really show you. This, slightly unusually, was a bilateral abnormality. There was a cyst on the right side and a cyst on the left. So bilateral lesion, uh, multilocular, the one on the left showing fewer than 10 locules, no solid material, low level echogenicity, no vascularity in this view, and possibly some shadowing just there and also seen there. This patient had a surgery two months later, by which time this cyst had torted. This was a 100 millimetres unilocular cyst with low level echogenicity, no solid material and no shadowing. This cyst was 87 millimetres unilocular solid because it's a single locule and there's solid material so it's not unilocular, it's unilocular solid. The internal cyst wall is irregular, low level echogenicity and possibly some shadowing. You have to be careful with the echogenicity. This will depend on your gain settings. So if your gain is too low, you will think it's anechoic. This is a 3D rendered version of uh, a cyst and it's 56 millimeters unilocular with low level echogenicity. 
you can see a little bit of clumping of the mucin uh, at that edge of the lesion. This cyst was very large at 204 millimeters. It's multilocular with fewer than 10 locules. Low level echogenicity, which again varies between the locules. No solid material. And I can't comment on shadowing in this image because I can't see behind the cyst. hundred and fifteen millimeters, multilocular, more than ten locules, no solid material, low level echogenicity, minor vascularity showing a score of two and no shadowing. Two hundred and seventy nine millimeters, a unilocular cyst with low level echogenicity, no solid material and no shadowing. 3rd this was the largest cyst in my series. It's 303 millimetres. You can see it's multilocular with more than 10 locules, really forming a cluster at the top edge coming into view here. A large cluster of nodules. Low level echogenicity cyst contents. No solid material, but again it's very difficult to be sure that there's no solid material hiding in there or indeed at the furthest edge of the cyst wall which has been cut off in this particular view and some shadowing. So the typical appearance of a mucinous cyst adenoma is that it's multilocular with fewer or more than 10 locules but it can be unilocular. No solid material the cyst contents typically have low-level echogenicity, which sometimes varies between locules. The internal cyst wall is usually regular. Minor vascularity, giving a score of 2. Sometimes some shadowing. And these cysts can be very large. When you see such a lesion and you want to know what it is, it might be obvious to you, as a benign simple descriptor, if the mass is unilocular and less than 10 centimetres. If it's either unilocular or multilocular with no solid material and in the absence of malignant features, you will see it's benign on simple rules. Often there is some shadowing, often there's no vascularity, and these are benign features. Take care with cysts larger than 10 centimetres because there may be some solid material that you cannot see. And the differential diagnosis, depending on locularity and what it looks like, of course, could be a physiological cyst, a serous cyst adenoma or a borderline tumour. This is the performer that I use to record the various aspects of a cyst before I work out whether it uh, fits any iota features, simple rules or any other risk of malignancy calculators. Thank you.